the Hartepe eruption, named for the Hartepe Plinian Pumas de Fralaire, sometimes referred to as the Taupo eruption and dated to around 180 AD, was Lake Taupo's most recent major eruption. It is considered New Zealand's largest eruption during the last 20,000 years. The eruption ejected some 120 cubic kilometers of VEI-7 eruption, of which 30 cubic kilometers was ejected in the space of a few minutes. This makes it one of the most violent eruptions in the last 5,000 years, comparable to the Minoan eruption in the 2nd millennium BC. The Tianchi eruption eruption of Bagdu around 1000 AD and the 1815 eruption of Tambora. The resulting ash turned the sky red over Roman China. Stages of eruption. The eruption went through several stages, with six distinct marker horizons identified. Despite the uniform composition of the erupted magma, a wide variety of eruptive styles were displayed, including weak phreatic magmatism, Plinian eruptions, and a huge pyroclastic flow. Rheolitic lava domes were extruded some years or decades later, forming the Horo Matangi reefs and White Aha Nui Bank. The main pyroclastic flow devastated the surrounding area, climbing over 1,500 meters to overtop the nearby Kaiman Awa ranges and Mount Mgariro, and covering the land within 80 kilometers with Ignibrite. Since New Zealand was not settled by the Maori until more than a thousand years later, the area had no known human inhabitants when the eruption occurred. Tsunami deposits of the same age have been found on the central New Zealand coast evidence that the eruption caused local tsunamis, but much more widespread waves may have been generated. The Hartepe eruption further expanded the lake that had formed after the much larger Aroanui eruption around 26,500 years ago. The previous outlet was blocked, raising the lake 35 meters above its present level until it broke out in a huge flood, flowing for more than a week at roughly 200 times the Waikato River's current rate. Dating the event, the Taupo eruption was at one time dated to approximately 130 AD based on 14 C from carbonized vegetation enclosed in the eruption products. However, the 22 selected samples used to obtain an average date of 1819 plus or minus 17 years BP had much larger standard deviations than the average date itself. Most if not all geologists now accept that the tephra pumice fall from the eruption was far greater than previously thought. Approximately 150 cubic kilometers instead of 14 cubic kilometers. This means the event would have been visible from China and Rome. It was therefore posited by Colin J. N. Wilson A. Al that the meteorological phenomena described by Fan Yi in China and by Herodian of Antioch in Rome were due to this eruption, which therefore can be dated exactly to 186 AD. However, recent radiocarbon dating by R. Sparks has put the date at 233 AD plus or minus 13. Humans had not settled in New Zealand at the time, and would not for another thousand years. The nearest humans at the time may have been those in Australia, more than 2,000 kilometers to the west.